Hi, I'm Colin. Welcome to Learn Somatics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to release the subscapularis muscle, which is a, a muscle underneath your shoulder blade, very difficult to get to by any uh, physical means, but easy to get to through movement. It's also going to improve rotation of the arm and shoulder as well. So you're going to get the rotator cuff or the entire rotator cuff. So let's begin. So working position for this movement is on your back, knees bent, feet flat. And we're going to work one arm at a time. So you're going to put your arm out to the side like so. And then you're going to bend the elbow so the fingers and the hand are pointing up to the ceiling like this. And from here, all we're going to do is start to rotate the hand, the palm down towards the floor. Just go to whatever your natural limit is. That's fine. And from there, just come on back. And as you can see, I've got my free hand on my chest so I can feel what's happening as I do this movement. So you're going to send the palm down toward the floor. And as you do this, you'll feel your shoulder kind of picks up. So you can allow that to happen. And you'll feel your shoulder blade in the back kind of slide up your back a little bit. And then from there, slowly come back to the start position. And then begin to go out the other way. So you're going to almost try and bring the back of your hand towards the floor. Like so. So as you can see, we're, we're rotating the arm. And just do that a couple of times, rotating the palm down. And as you do that, let your belly tighten a little bit and you might feel your head want to tip back. That's going to help you. And then from here, back the other way. And as your back of your hand goes down, you may notice your back wants to arch a little bit. So allow that to happen. Let your chest lift up a touch. And then as you go down, the chest sinks. And that allows the palm to go down a bit more easily. And as I said again, the shoulder just scoops up off the floor and you'll feel it lift up in the back. And then we go the other way. The more we arch, the better or the more likely it is that we can get our back of our hand down. And we're still getting those shoulder muscles, so don't worry about that. And then nice palm down again. So once you've got the hang of that, just sort of make it a bit more rhythmical or make it flow a bit. You can go palm down and then you can go back of the hand down, flattening your back out and tucking your tail a little bit as your uh, palm comes down, arching your back, lifting your chest, pressing your tail down as your back of your hand goes down. And be mindful of your shoulder blade. In this position, the shoulder blade slides up the back. In the, this position, the shoulder blade will tend to kind of go down the back a little bit. So not only are you getting your rotator cuff, but you're getting your traps and the muscles that move the shoulder blade as well. A little bit of your chest, a little bit into your back and even into your belly and your neck as we're letting the head go along for the ride. Okay, let's just do that one more time. And then slowly come to rest. All right, so let the legs be straight. Let the arms rest by your side and just see how that feels. If you've done that slowly and carefully and with attention, that should feel quite a bit different in that shoulder compared to the other side. Yeah, the muscles on the back of your shoulder blade should feel quite soft and comfortable now. You may feel like you've more contact with the, uh, with the floor and you should feel some change even on up into your neck. Shoulder blade is attached to the neck as well, so moving the shoulder blade will improve comfort in the neck. Okay, so let's try that on the second side. So everything's the same. We're gonna have the right arm out, fingers pointing to the ceiling, elbow bent. You can use your left hand again on your chest so you can feel what is happening. We're gonna begin by sending the palm down, letting the shoulder scoop up, back flattens out, head tips back a little bit. And then from there, we're going the other way, rolling the back of the hand down, letting the back arch a bit. And we go back and forth in this manner, nice and slowly. Good. Feel the shoulder slide up your back. And we go the other way. Feel the sh shoulder blade slide down your back. So we're rotating the arm. That's what brings the hands down to the table or to the floor. And we're also arching our back. That is what helps us bring the back of the hand down. So by using more of our body, we can make the movement bigger. Also integrating the uh, shoulder with the trunk. 
and just notice if on this side if the movement is easier to do maybe it's easier to get your uh, hand down in one direction than it was on the other side okay and let's just do one more of those back of the hand down back arches back of the shoulder tightens palm down back flattens front of the shoulder tightens in here in the chest and from there to rest okay layer flat see how that feels so again that should be starting to feel more comfortable in that second side shoulder now as well they should be first starting to feel pretty equal all right so now let's play a little bit with this doing the two arms at the same time so set up with your two hands out now like so and we're actually going to do the opposite movements of each arm so i'm going to bring my palm down on this left side and i'm going to bring my back of my hand down on the other side and from here then come back to middle and do the opposite go left hand back of back of the hand goes down right hand palm goes down and as you're doing that just go nice and slow and you'll kind of feel it sort of sends your head back and forth your head will tend to turn towards the palm up side like so so allow that to happen you can turn your head to look at the palm upside and that's actually going to make it a little easier so now you're not only moving your shoulders and your arm but you're moving your head and neck as well and because we're doing alternately with our hands the uh, action of the trunk is going to be a little different just let your ribs kind of go along for the ride they might kind of shift side to side a little bit as you do this you might feel your hips moving again allow all that to happen the more of yourself you use uh, the better it's going to feel and the more benefit you're going to get out of it as well just go back and forth like that a couple of times alternating feel how this left shoulder now with the back of the hand down that left shoulder is pressed into the ground the right shoulder is scooped up and the right palm is down and then it's the opposite on the other side left palm is down left shoulder scoops up right back of the hand is down right shoulder presses down and you just alternate back and forth so once you've kind of taken your time to learn how to rotate each arm then you can start to do these more complicated movements that help to integrate and further improve comfort of your neck, shoulders, chest, arms, etc. Okay, come back to the middle and then from there, lay out flat and relax. So as always, if you've taken your time and, and gone nice and slow there, that should feel really nice through the upper back, through the shoulder blades, the neck, and on down into the arms. So that's a nice sequence to free up the entire shoulder girdle, neck, arms, all of that stuff. Give that a try, let me know how you get on. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.